Since you've been taking lessons from me, you are going to take an examination to test your knowledge on DLC modding. If you pass the course with at least the majority of the questions correct, you'll be, or I'll be your lover forever. Oh gosh, I better fail. Why did I say that? Anyway, do you get it now? Oh, there's no option not to understand anymore. Yep, I understood that perfectly. Good! Please keep in mind that for some questions, there will be more than one correct answer. However, it is still important to read the question carefully, as there might be trick questions thrown into the mix too. Are you ready, Hallie? I sure hope you choose an your answer wisely. Here we go. It hid the question. It actually hid the question. Wow. Uh, well, based on these answers, I'm guessing it's asking who made this mod, I and mean, it was Zachman Awesomeness, so... Correct! Next question! Yeah, all I can see before it even blinks away is question and, like, the barely starting of the number. Well, uh, hmm. <laughs> this is just all gonna be stabs in the dark as a result. Uh... DDMC GitHub? Sorry, that's not the right answer. You should go to the DDMC Reddit to find the invite to join the server. Oh, is that what you asked me? See, here we can see the questions. Question 1, credit this mod. Question 2, where should you go to join the Doki Doki Mod Club server? Alright, there might be a way around this issue. Next question! Yeah, see, it's trying to do that, but if I press escape, I can get back to the history. Question 3. Is it okay to distribute your mod with the original script fully and entirely intact? No. Bingo! I'm glad you're made aware about that. Next question. Uh, is it which program should I absolutely use? And the answer is Notepad? Question 4. What software should you use to edit RPY files? Okay. Uh... <laughs> I just want to see what she'll do, but we'll, we'll answer them all wrong later. This one. Oh yeah, you got it! It's one of the recommended editors to use when modding! Next question! What? History, save me. Question 5! What does Let's Play Mode do? Dumb stuff. It gives infinite money. No, it censors personal information. That is correct! Let's Play Mode censors your most personal private information such as your real name, address, IP, etc. Next question! Ah, uh, History. Question 6! How many poses does Yuri have? She's only got four! Yes, that is right! Everyone else has five poses, but Yuri only has four! But modders have made it possible to give her five. Like everyone else, Yuri's final pose is unique! Next question! Bleh. Question 7! What operating system was Zachman Awesome us running? Why does that matter for us and our understanding of the video game? Good job! Zachman Awesome is indeed running Windows! Next question! Eh. Question 8! Who has the entire alphabet of facial expressions? It's Anatsuki. Correct! I have the entire alphabet of facial expressions, including extras! Next question! Hmm? Question 9! Which track plays the Sayonara music? Oh, come on, you're gonna get me with this one. Uh... I'm pretty sure it's TD? Right! The track TD indeed plays Sayonara! Next question! The D is for die. Question 10. Who does not have a casual outfit in the original game? Oh my gosh, you're gonna be... Yeah, it's Monica. Correct! Monica's the only character who does not have a casual outfit in the original game. Next question! Right. Question 11. How many words does it take to complete the poem game? Uh, eh. Wait, it's 20. Correct! It usually takes 20 words to complete the poem game. Next question! You can also change that number if you really want. But that's a little bit savvy. Question 12! What does the text tag NW do? Uh, let's, uh, that's no wait. Uh, it, it advances to the next line automatically. It's the bane of my existence! Correct! You can see the next line show up immediately after the previous one ends if you include the no wait tag. Next question! What? 
Are you tired of me going back and forth between these menus yet? Question 13. What does the persistent playthrough function do? I mean, actually, it can kind of delete everyone, depending on which is, uh, part of the game you're in. Because like I said, like I was saying in a, well, an earlier episode at this point, but like, unintended side effects of using the existing persistent playthrough variable, it regulates who appears in the characters folder. So like, whenever you're in Act 2, it, if you try to put Sayori back in there, it'll like, well, I don't think, will it delete her? I think it will delete her, actually. But if you, it, it basically puts the ones that are supposed to be there there if they're missing. And it removes them if they're not supposed to be there. It changes the- Yes! The function changes the playthrough in Immersa so that you can see a brand new story in the same mod upon clicking new game! Next question! Mm. Final question! What should you use to extract RPA files? Uh... It's this one. Booyah! You can use it to extract RPA files so that you can view everything! You can also use it to compile RPA files, which is why I like it. Okay, that's all the questions! Now let me evaluate your score to determine whether you passed this course or not! Amazing job! You passed! Your score was nearly perfect! All you needed was one more point to achieve perfection! Seriously, you deserve a pat on the back! You are most certainly a massive pro with modding! Alright, thanks for participating in the quiz! Since you passed, we're going to move on to the final part of this tutorial. Once we take care of that, you'll be able to create some great masterpieces all by yourself. When you're ready to proceed to the finale, click on the next part. I'll be waiting. It's fading away. All right, but I, I want to get it wrong with the first though. Let's get it all wrong this time. Everything's going to be wrong. I understand. Great, glad to hear it. You're a good listener. We're going to skip. We're gonna get them all wrong. I created this mod. Ha ha ha! No! It was Zach with awesomeness who created this mod! Never claim what's not yours as your own! Next question! Go to the GitHub. Sorry, that's not the right answer. Mm -mm -mm. No. Bingo! Bingo! I get it right. No, I was supposed to be wrong. Notepad. <laughs> really? I told you so many times that you're not supposed to use Notepad to. I literally gave you a freebie question, yet you still botched it up! How did you get that question wrong? Either you accidentally selected this answer, or you deliberately chose it to spite me! It's the latter. Don't laugh, it's not funny! I think it's funny. Next! Next question! Uh, that gives you infinite money. I wish! Sorry, that answer is incorrect! Your personal information will be censored out when Let's Play mode is turned on! Next question! She's got five. Sorry, but that answer is incorrect. That was a trick question. Everyone else has five poses, but Yuri only has four. Next. Oh, he's one of those Linux supremacists. N no, that's wrong. It's Windows. Next question. Uh, I don't even remember what the context of this question was. I'm going with Yuri because she's my favorite. Wrong. Yuri's normal expressions only go from A to W. Next question. T7. Wrong. The track T7 plays Poem Panic. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the one about casual efforts, but I'm picking Yuri. No! Yuri wears a turtleneck and black sweatpants. Next question. 50. God, can you imagine? Ho-ho-ho, <laughs> that's very funny. If that was the case, it would drag on for way too long. 20 words is all it takes to complete the poem game. So your answer is invalid. Next question. Uh, text stops showing the by click. Sure. Wrong! The NW tag automatically goes to the next line once the line with the tag is done displaying all text. It deletes everyone. Wrong! There is a completely separate function for that. Next question. On our POYC, that seems right. Oh, sorry. I assume that was a trick question. That's for converting RPYC files back into RPY files. Okay, that's all the questions. Now let me evaluate your score to the runner of the astronaut. You failed this course! All but one question wrong! I am extremely fucking disappointed in you! I thought you were going to be good at modding, I was wrong! You're gonna have to retake this course! And next time, please do a better job and pay attention, okay? Now I'm going to perk up the game! 
Go into the game folder and delete first run and delete the saves folder if you've seen it. Bye! Oh god, she closed. The no wait text box. How dare you? Did she actually reset all the progress? Oh god. Well, hold on a minute, dear viewer. Uh, I gotta launch the project. What, what's it going to do now? I'm launching the project. It's still showing RenPy. This is why, this is why I don't do it that way. RenPy, you suck. Get out of here. I closed it. Detect the other window. Thank you. Uh, so no, she didn't break up the game, actually. We're fine. She lied. But that's okay. We already passed once. We know what we did. Let's go to distribution. We're in the home stretch, Hallie. Home stretch is not one word, I don't think. Today we're going to build our mod using Ren or our RenPy launcher. This applies to the standalone RenPy and the modified version of the launcher known as DDM Maker. First things first, boot up the RenPy launcher. If you have DDM Maker, boot that up instead. What you need to do is look for the mod you have fully completed development on. It's always a good idea to give it a few test runs so that you can check for mistakes you accidentally made. You mean like leaving Monica on your front? As a matter of fact, I'm gonna let you do that right now. So go ahead and run your Mondo a few times and make some last minute tweaks to ensure it is ready to be played by anyone in the DDLC modding community. Let me know when you have completed this task so we can continue. Move on. Ah, oh, you're done tweaking, great. With either my play launcher or DDM maker still running and your complete mod is selected, go into build distributions or build mod. After a bit of scanning, you will be taken to a menu where you can make whatever adjustments that should be made. For example, the only thing you should have checked in build packages is RenPy 6 compatible DDLC mod or RenPy 7 compatible DDLC mod. If your mod is made in RenPy 6, you should select RenPy 6 compatible DDLC mod. If your mod is made in RenPy 7, you should select RenPy 7 compatible DDLC mod. No way, really? Feel free to change the directory name and the executable name as you wish, but put it, it, or put it in the required package format. Otherwise, it won't work! The next thing we need to do is look at the options section. Make sure nothing is checked. We do not want to add from clauses to calls. And we're not going to force recompile. Once you've reviewed everything, go ahead and click build. The process of turning your mod into its own archive file takes a few minutes to complete. If the process fails, an error will show what is wrong. If you do get an error, fix the problem and try again. It's usually package format limitations that you need to keep in mind, by the way. After the long process completes, your file explorer will automatically open, revealing the location of the created archive for your finished lawn. Meanwhile, the launcher will return to the main screen. At this point, you won't need to use the launcher again, so it's safe to close the launcher now. And now, we'll take a moment to look at our glorious lawn in its own archive. Well, we just need to do one last thing. We'll have to figure out where you want your mod to be uploaded from so that people can download your creation. And criticize it. I recommend two websites you can upload your mod to. You can either upload it to Mediafire or insert it into your Google Drive, provided that you have enough space for it. If not, clear away stuff you don't need on either Mediafire or Google Drive, whichever you prefer. Once you have a space for your mod, upload it. And after a bit, it will be unavailable. If you uploaded your mod to your Google Drive, it's initially private to only you. What you need to do is to share the file. Right-click on the uploaded file and select Share. Under Get Link, make sure you set it so that anyone on the internet with this link can view the file. Once you do that, click on Copy Link so that it'll be on your clipboard. Alright, we have our mod's link in the clipboard. Simply go into the DDMC Reddit and make a post with the link to your download mod. And that is, as long as you follow the rules of Reddit as a whole too, just make sure you're signed into your own Reddit account when doing this. Set the appropriate flare and post your mod for the community to see. Or completely ignore. With that, we can now admire the fact that our mod is now available for download. It's only a matter of time until you get your first few upvotes. And with that, we have officially reached the very end of this course. You make me so proud. There really isn't anything else for me to do at this point since we're done here. You did such a great job creating your mod. Thank you for the memories we made during the time we spent on this course. Seriously, I wish there was a way for me to reward you quite properly myself. Well, actually, there is one way. I think you'll like it. You deserve it. Wah! Don't you kiss me. Now, 
Ah! Well, uh, thanks for your time. Have a nice day, and I bid you good luck on your future modding endeavors. Bye! The music has ceased. Uh, what about what this? Run by seven lectures. What's this? So, you want to try out the advanced things? Well, okay. What? She was talking, Sayori. She was like, I'll be happy to. What intelligible whispering. Are you serious? Botheration. Well, I've got some rather unfortunate you news. You forgot the TU in there. The advanced guides have not been written at all yet. All I had planned for this mod right now were the basic things that were listed. Not to worry. In a future update for this mod, I will provide some more guides for you. You'll learn how to use the mood post tool and other related things. There really isn't anything else for me to say here. If you have finished everything and this is the only thing you have left to see, then congrats! You have, for now, finished playing this mod. Stay tuned for more guides and stuff. I bid you a great rest of your day or night. Best of luck on your future coding endeavors. Bye! Oh, it closed it automatically. But we weren't, we weren't done. Hold on a second. There was one last thing we could click in there. I wanted to click it. Zipping my mouse around the screen very quickly does not make the project launch faster. See, I had to open RenPy again to launch it again, because dang it all. My stupid laptop and its nonsense refusing to work. Oh, that's probably just going to close it again, honestly. We wanted to look at this. What happens when I say take a break? Well, I hope you learned something today. Feel free to come back anytime for more of my lectures. I can't wait to see what you create. This tutorial mod was handcrafted solely by Zach with Awesomeness. As always, this has been Natsuki of DDLC, signing off. Happy modding! <laughs> oh wow, see that one doesn't even close the thing, it just takes you back to the menu. Well, whatever, that's it for that mod. Uh, hmm. I feel like I could cover some things a little better, but it, it, it's serviceable for the most part. It puts points people to the resources they would need to get started. But, uh, you know, I'll just uh, compose my thoughts more properly when I do the actual review, and that is going to do it for now. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you next time with uh, more Doki Doki. Hope to see you then. Bye-bye.